Hi, I'm Miss Iris, and today we're going to talk about cloud facts. Have you ever laid down and looked up in the sky and saw all different shapes of clouds? Did you ever see a bear or a bird or a kitten or a dog? It's a fun thing to do on a cloudy, warm, bright day. Do you know what clouds are? Clouds are way up in the upper atmosphere of the earth, and they're made of tiny water droplets or ice crystals. When you see a weatherman on the TV, they are called nephrologists, and the study of clouds are called nephrology. Clouds form when warm air rises and cools down in the atmosphere. As the warm air cools, the water vapor turns into tiny water droplets or ice crystals, depending how cold it is. These tiny water droplets and or ice crystals eventually form a cloud. Clouds produce precipitation, another big word. And that only means that it's going to rain or snow or hail or sleet. Clouds can hold millions of gallons of water and clouds can travel more than 100 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. When we look in the sky and we see them floating along, it seems like they're going really slow, but in actuality, they're going pretty fast. There are so many types of clouds, but if you look at these clouds that I'm showing you right here, these are the more, more common clouds. The first one, do you see those? Looks like just stripes in the air. They're called cirrus clouds. Do you see that? Yeah. And they're usually really, really feathery and light looking, and they are the highest clouds in the sky. See that? Okay, now this one is called a stratus cloud. And it looks like wide blankets spread across the air. Huh? And they usually are clouds that produce fog. That is really, when it gets really foggy outside and you can't see. This cloud, the third one, is called a, a stratocumulus cloud. This is a gray, lumpy cloud. You see that third one? That's the stratocumulus. And the fourth one is just a cumulus cloud. It's really fluffy and flat, and the bottom, and it's really low in the sky when you see those the cumulus cloud. And then the last one, this was another one, is a cumulomumnus, cumulomumnus. These are the clouds you see that produce thunderstorms in the sky. Do you see that, the last one? Okay, so clouds are pretty interesting. What we're gonna do today is to do an experiment with a glass of water that I've already put water in shaving cream, and blue food coloring. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put shaving cream all on the top. And of course, that's going, let me take the top off. That's going to be our cloud. Yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah. That's fun. Woo. That's our cloud. All right. What kind of cloud does that look like? Does it look like a cirrus cloud? No, that's not stripy. Does it look like a stratus cloud? No, it's not wide. How about a stratocumulus? Not really. I think it looks more like a cumulus cloud, really fluffy, okay? Fluffy and flat on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is move this out of the way and we're going to start 
putting precipitation inside the cloud. And what do we say precipitation was? Rain or sleet or snow. And when the cloud fills up and gets so much precipitation, then look, do you see the bottom? It starts coming down the earth. And we're gonna call this, our precipitation is going to be rain. And we used blue food coloring just so you can see it come through. So that's an example of what happens when the clouds get full of precipitation. It comes all the way down to the earth and it either rains or sleets or even snows. Try that at home. That's pretty fun. It's cool. You see that? The cloud and the precipitation, because after we put the food coloring in, which was our precipitation or rain, it came through the cloud and down to the earth as the cloud filled up with precipitation. Yay, that was a fun one. I enjoyed all having a rainy day with you talking about cloud facts. Instead of raining with a chance of meatballs, we had cloudy with a chance of really, really, really precipitation today. Okay, well, thank you for listening and we will see you next time. And I hope you learned a little bit about facts, a little bit of facts about clouds today. Okay, we'll see you next time at Durham County Library. Bye-bye.